pulls everything together. Um, I, I like it. Yeah. 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 Paired together with... Oh my god, did I just get lipstick on it? Oh my god. I feel like I have so much spit in my mouth. I just had a chocolate before this. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, baby, what is you doing? My name is Christine. I love everything beauty, skincare, fashion, and I also have an Instagram and Snapchat, Twitter, whatever. So if you guys don't follow me there yet, I'll put it up in the corner. All my social media handles are the same. So let's be friends and join the fam. Today, I wanted to bring you guys a fall lookbook. I had a lot of requests. I'm really active on my Instagram and I take into account like what you guys want to see via like polls and DMs and stuff. And a lot of people want to see a fall lookbook. So there's tons of like sweaters and fun prints and lots of layering. And before we go ahead and get started, please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little notification bell and let's go ahead and get started. So for those of you asking, I did move into a new place and the place that I was staying before, um, I lived there with my boyfriend and a couple other roommates, but our lease was up in October, which was a couple months ago. Oh, and he actually moved to LA right away and he's living his best life over there, but I needed a temporary place to stay until I moved there near the end of the year, so I'm living with some family until then. So for those of you wondering if I'm still moving to LA, I am. This is just like a temporary place that I can stay until then. See, a lot of my stuff is boxed up and put in storage until I like move, move. So a lot of my stuff I don't even have with me and it's it was kind of fun to put together a lookbook with like the essential items that I packed and brought here. I'm excited to move there and when I do, you guys will be the first to know about it. And yeah, that's just for those of you that are asking. I know it's kind of confusing, like, where did she move? I know a lot of you guys wanted to see a room tour as well, so I'm planning on doing that for you guys. I do have to kind of like clean up a little bit, and I shed like a golden retriever, so... Today we're going to do a more like talkative lookbook. If you guys haven't seen my office wear essentials, I'll link it up in the corner, but it's going to be similar to that. If you guys like that more talkative style, let me know. Thumbs up this video or let me know down in the comments. Or if you guys prefer those lookbooks that I just go all the way through with no talking and there's just like nice music playing in the background if you prefer that style I feel like I have so much spit in my mouth I just had a chocolate before this but if you guys prefer those more like non talking lookbooks let me know I'm happy to do whatever you guys like to see and actually before we go ahead and get started I wanted to do a quick shout out to Coley Collective and they're based in Los Angeles and it's just like a rose gold little bracelet but I literally wear it all the time and they did gift it to me I really like it because it hides my hair tie so I always have my hair ties on my wrist like people give me crap about it all the time about it being on my wrist so it's kind of nice to have like a little tool that allows me to hide it so it has these like little holes and what you do is you just kind of tuck your hair tie into it and it hides your hair tie but it makes it like look super cute and I'm always wearing this bracelet it matches with a lot of the jewelry I have so I'll put their link down below enough about the chatting let's go ahead and get into the video first outfit that I have is kind of a chic outfit this could be like either casual or going out and what I paired with it is this t-shirt and I love it because it's just like a nice knit material so I'm gonna tuck it in and I have these black jeans these ones are from Paige and I really like these because these are like a mid-rise I wish I had my citizens with me but I have them boxed up and in storage if I had them with me I would normally pair this shirt with high-waisted black skinny jeans these are mid-waist uh, black paid jeans and they kind of have these like rips in the knees which are super cute it adds like a fun flair to the outfit and my jacket is this amazing trench coat from keep in mind LA it's this local uh, Los Angeles boutique they sent me three pieces of clothing uh, total the material of this is so nice I love the pattern I don't really have like a long coat like this and you guys know me I love my long coats for especially for layering it's such an easy piece to like throw over I love this because the pattern is so cool and unique and like the gray color is so easy to like pair with anything and it is like a big statement jacket but you could wear it to like the office going out like there's so many different ways that you could wear it and it's just a great versatile jacket so I'll link everything down in the description box if I can find it so to pair with that outfit I'm actually gonna wear them with my salt booties from public desire and I love these I love the big chunky heel and the way that it kind of disconnects I feel like it's such a vibe these sock booties are like one of the most comfortable booties that I have like in my closet I wear these going out all the time and even though they're pointy toe they're super comfortable and 
it just zips up and it's really tight around my ankle and I just love the way it looks with like skinny jeans, joggers, skirt. I feel like this booty kind of like pulls everything together and makes the outfit a little bit more sassy versus like I'm going to the office type look. Held side by side with this other one that I have. I don't remember the name of this booty but it's also from Public Desire but they are slightly different and they're all, they're both like different vibes. I feel like the heel of this one is so pointy. I love how like sassy it is. And this one is slightly more rounded, but the heel of it is uh, higher and more skinnier. And this one goes up a little bit higher up your calf. So I do like this one if I was wearing like skirts. I just love like how high it goes. But this one is more comfortable because the heel isn't as high. So yeah. kind of toying around with because I couldn't decide what pants I wanted to do with it um, but this outfit is a little bit more casual this is like going to the airport type look so I'm gonna start off with my Uniqlo skinny jeans and I love these jeans I talk about them in my office wear essentials lookbook but these are pretty much like glorified jeggings and they're so comfortable I wish they were high-rise like Uniqlo please make high-rise jeans super comfortable so I'm gonna pair these ones with this cropped hoodie that I bought from Shein and if you guys have ever ordered stuff from there before, like I almost did a haul video on things that I picked up from there, but things are so cheap, but in turn the quality is super, super cheap. I feel like at least Forever 21, like you can get really affordable stuff, but some of the quality is actually not bad. But the things that I've ordered from Shein, things are pretty like cheap. I like this hoodie though. You, I feel like you can't go wrong with like sweats and stuff like that. I just would never order like blouses from Shein. Um, but I really like this hoodie. I might cut it even shorter, but it came cropped and it's super comfortable. So I'm gonna pair that with my skinny jeans. And then over top, I have this coat that I picked up from Aritzia. It's from the brand The Group by Babaton. And this is one of my favorite like sub brands within Aritzia because everything there just feels so luxurious. And obviously it's priced that way. So I wish I had more things from that line, but this black jacket is just so great. It feels like wool. I, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so this one is 100% wool um, and it's like a nice thinner wool. Like it's not like super thick and it's super comfortable too. Like it's not crazy itchy, especially for it being like 100% wool. And I just love how long it is too. It also has these like gorgeous slits down the sides of it. It's just like a really great piece. I have the cardigan from Uniqlo that kind of looks like this, but it's just a little bit more frumpy. So I love how structured this looks and toss on top of like the hoodie with the jean. I think it's like a fun casual look. And then for the shoes, I paired it with my Common Projects and I feel like it's such a like blogger off duty look, but I really like it. My Common Projects, I got in a size 36 and I'm a size 6.5 for those of you wondering. I usually have my like body weight measurements and all that down in the description box. So check that out if you're wondering on sizing. I love my Common Projects. I feel like they're such a staple shoe. So I'm gonna pair that with that outfit just to kind of go with the whole vibe that we're going for. <laughs> most favorite outfit like of the outfits that I put together. So the first piece is this dress from Keep In Mind LA. So it's from that same boutique. She also was kind enough to send me this dress. It's just like this gorgeous slip dress and it's like a grayish tone animal print and I just love the material and the print of it is so pretty and it has a little like cut out uh, where your leg is and it kind of crosses over and it just looks gorgeous on. It's kind of like a straight neck cut and then it has a zipper in the back and I got this in a size small. So I'm gonna pair this one with this sweater that I have from Community um, and it's a sub brand within Aritzia. And I got this sweater in a size extra small just because it's kind of like a more oversized look. Um, it's just like a turtleneck. I layered this on top of the slip dress and I think it's just like a fun way to wear like slip dresses in the winter slash fall. The sweater kind of rolled up a little bit so it kind of has like a crop feel to it and you can see like 
a lot of the dress and that way it doesn't look too frumpy. Paired with that outfit, I have these booties that I was talking about from Public Desire and I like these booties uh, with that look because these ones go up your calf a little bit more and kind of just makes your legs look a little bit skinnier. One thing that I don't like to do is wear like short booties when I have like a dress on because I feel like it kind of chops off your legs and makes your calves look bigger. I like these booties with that outfit and I love how sassy it is and it kind of gives that cool girl vibe so I love that outfit. a little bit more casual and these jeans are from AG jeans I picked it up at the outlet in California a long time ago but I love these jeans they're super skinny and I love the detailing at the bottom and these ones are a little bit cropped but they're not like calf skinny jeans what is that called? I have them in the size 26 and I just love the wash of these. Um, the dark blue is just so pretty. I paired it with this blouse that I got from Keep In Mind LA. It has a tie detail down here. And this could be really fun in the summer, especially paired with like shorts or like layered over top of like a black dress. This animal print is a little bit more brown than the other one is. Like if you compare them side by side, you can tell that it's more brown. I love this blouse, so I paired it together with the jeans for kind of a fun look. And then over top, I wore my Babaton coat and I love the way that a long coat looks over top. It kind of just pulls everything together. And then for shoes, I paired it together with these uh, slip-on loafers that I picked up from Target. I think in my office wear essentials, I said I got it from Lulu's, but these ones are actually from Target. I totally forgot. They're the brand Morona and they're a size seven. These ones runs a little bit small, but I love these slip-on shoes. I feel like they go with so many different outfits and they're so comfortable. So I love the way that it looks with this outfit. It kind of looks like you could be going to the office or like off to brunch. So I love that outfit. slash a little bit more street style than everything else. So the first piece that I have is this hoodie that I got from a brand called Young and Dangerous. On Instagram, they're called like, their handle's like yd.us or something, but they were kind enough to send this over to me and I actually love this hoodie. It's so soft and comfortable and like the inside is just like so plush and I want it to be more of an oversized look so I got it in the size medium and this is what the front looks like and the back is so cool. It just looks like that, it just says Young and Dangerous and I just love like the brownie color of it, the brownie like, it's like a neutral brown color so I really like this hoodie, I don't have anything this color and I thought it would be kind of cool paired together with my Iron Gia coat and I actually picked this one up from Princess Polly so if you guys have never been on Princess Polly, they have, it's like an Australian site but most of their prices are list in Australian dollars and when you buy them with US, it's actually cheaper for us. So I think I got this jacket, like I had a 20% off discount code. And with the price conversion, I ended up getting this coat for like 80 bucks. It's such a staple coat and paired together with this hoodie, I feel like the tones are so cool. I love pairing things of like similar tones together. So with that, I have these joggers from Aritzia. It's a sub brand called Community and I got them in a size small. I wish I got them in a size medium so that they're more like of an oversized fit, but I've had these for years. I also have them in an olive color and a gray color. Um, I just feel like it's such a good, comfortable jogger and I love that it has all these pockets with it. So I paired this with that outfit for more of a like laid back look. And then for the shoes, I have my Air Force ones and I actually just got these and for some reason, I just never really cared for the chunky shoe trend, but I feel like for good streetwear, outfits you need to have a chunky shoe in your closet so I'm on the search for another one um, but I really like the shoe I feel like it any streetwear look you have to have a chunky shoe so paired with that outfit it just gives you like cool girl vibes so yeah <laughs> Thank you 
you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys supporting me so much. I feel like we've grown so much in such a short amount of time. And I'm just so thankful for all the support that you guys give me. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please make sure you thumbs up this video. Let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next. I have other videos for you to watch. Don't go yet. So check out these other videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.